Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now I get so many questions about how do I look after my nails and how is it I paint my nails so perfectly and why do I use a strange method of painting them? So I thought I'd bring you my top five nail hacks for perfectly painted polish. Hack number one is probably the most important and that is cuticle. And do you actually know what the cuticle really is and where it is? So I'm going to show you here. And that white buildup you can see, that's cuticle. Now to take a closer look, I'm going to show you exactly what cuticle is. And here it is stuck to the actual surface of the nail. Now my nails haven't had the cuticles done for just over a week. And you can see here that this white fluffy stuff coming off is actually cuticle. And what cuticle is, it's the skin that attaches to your nail as it grows. It is not the skin around the nail. So I'm actually releasing it here with a curette and this is what you would call a dry mani. Now this bit here of the skin, this is your epinicium. You should never cut and never push it hard because that is what protects your nail and where it grows from infection. And these are your lateral folds or your side walls and they do the same too. So don't nibble them, poke them, cut them or anything else like that because you'll end up one with sore fingers and two, if you're unlucky, an infection. So one of my favourite products to use at the moment is the Essie Apricot Cuticle Peel. And this one was sent to me by Essie and to be honest I've been using a dry money for a while but I thought I'd give it a go along with some of their cuticle tools and I have fallen in love with these. So what I've just done is applied this around the nail, left it for probably about 20 seconds to work, and then I'm very, very gently using this metal tool. Now I am not pushing back hard on the skin around the nail. You must not do that. I don't want to sound too preachy, but you really mustn't. And then what I'm just going to do is, as you can see, because it started to work, there's this funny gungy white stuff. That's actually the cuticle peel mixed with the dead skin. Cuticle is non-living tissue, so it is safe to remove. The skin around the nail is living, it is not safe to remove or cut. So here I'm going in with another tool just to try and show you some more of the cuticle. And just be gentle going around these sides. Now this tool is a little bit, it could be a bit dodgy if you don't know what you're doing, so you have to be very careful with it. But it's really good because you can see the cuticles come off like a ribbon there. My original favourite tool, which I still use as well, is this little curette. Now links to all of the products are down below in the description if you want to purchase any of these. This isn't a sponsored video, these are literally some of my favourite products I use, particularly the cuticle ones. And you can see here, look how much extra cuticle we're getting off. I mean, it's kind of gross, but it's really fascinating at the same time. It's kind of like watching Dr Pimple Popper. Now let's talk hangnails and the one and only time you can actually cut the skin around the nails. This here, this little flap of skin sticking up that is actually a bit sore is a hangnail. And to remove it you need super sharp cuticle nips and you want to pinch them and release. Do not pinch and then pull away because if you haven't cut through it properly you can tear the skin. Now that first hack was a biggie so it took a lot of time, the remaining four are quite quick and next we're talking filing and yes I am filing back and forth and you can do that with a 240 grit file. Also make sure that you have your file on an angle tilted under the nail, it makes for a much better shape particularly when you're doing rounded shapes and almonds and things like that like I'm doing now. And before you apply your nail polish, always remember to cleanse your nails. And I do this normally with isopropyl alcohol, but you can also use acetone or nail polish remover. Just make sure there's no oils in the product that you're using. And then comes the stage where we're going to make your mani look absolutely perfect. And it always begins with base coat, people. Always. If your polish isn't lasting, if it's chipping, or if your nails are just getting really stained, particularly with darker colours, then do start with a base coat. My normal favourite is a peel off base coat because that means I can change my nails really easily, particularly when using a glitter because that is a nightmare to remove with nail polish remover. Hack number four is colour application. Now the best way to make sure you get the colour on the nail nice and evenly is when you take your brush out of the bottle is push against one side so you have a nice well of colour underneath and that is normally enough to do your whole nail. Now I know a lot of people will say I paint my nails with three steps and that's it. Great, this video is not for you then. This video is for people who want to get it perfect and they're struggling. 
What I tend to do is I start at the center of the nail like you've just seen, push back, and then I tweak around the cuticle area until I'm happy before I draw the color over the rest of the nail. And then remember to cap those ends because if your polish is chipping, that can be one of the reasons. Also really take your time on this first coat because it really makes the difference with how neat it is and then you can apply that second coat a lot quicker. Also do make sure that you lean both your hands on a table or a desk or something like that. It really does make a difference to be able to get control. Now with that first coat applied really neatly you can go in quickly with your second coat and here you can just actually go just inside the line you've already created of colour and you can do it a lot quicker. Do not worry if you get any polish on the skin, we can easily remove that and I'll show you how. But you can see here, as long as you're using a really good quality polish, and it doesn't have to be a design or a brand name, just a good quality polish, it's easy to work with. And to remove any polish from the skin, we're just going to need a brush and a pad dipped in acetone or nail polish remover, and then just clean it off the skin. Now I will say this brush from Uber Chic is absolutely amazing and it is the best one I have ever used. If you want to find where you can buy it, the links are in the description down below. And your final hack for a perfect looking mani is top coat. And this one from Glisten and Glow is my absolute favourite. When you apply it, do it the same as you do with your colour coat. I start in the centre, get it nice and neat around the cuticle and then draw over the nail and cap the ends. Now when you're looking for a top coat, the best things to look for are that they're hard wearing, they are really glossy, they don't cause shrinkage and ideally they're quick drying. Just a final thing to say if you really do want that perfect salon look at home is cuticle oil and look for one with a high content of jojoba oil in as that's a carrier oil and will help take the moisturising properties through the channels of the nail. Give it a nice massage in around the skin and it stops it looking dehydrated and a bit old like my hands, really. And here's that finished look. And you can see the difference of how glossy and perfect the nails look. And the trick is just to make sure that you do your cuticles, a good quality file, base, colour and top coat. And then finish off with a slick of cuticle oil. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please leave me a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every weekend. Thank you very much for watching.